All right, let's start with uh, some of these uh, simple uh, constrained motion problems, right? Motions where these blocks uh, are connected by ropes, uh, maybe they wrap around pulleys, uh, maybe even have two ropes, uh, kind of like this, this, this one right here. We actually have two separate ropes. Um, but the, vo the velocity of A is related to velocity of B is related to velocity of C. Uh, so what's our process? Our process is let's write down an equation for the length of the rope, and then let's take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So here we have two completely separate ropes. Uh, so we're going to kind of have two, um, two problems here, two equations here. So I'd say L total of this blue rope would be uh, this YB. If you don't mind, I'm going to, instead of calling these YBs, I'm going to say uh, LB. So this is the length right here. Um, remember, we're going to uh, neglect any constant, so I'm going to neglect this part of it. Um, but then I'm going to th this next part right here, uh, I'd say is LC. Uh, then I'm going to neglect this part right here. And then I'm going to say this uh, length right here, uh, right there, from there to there. Um, it, it's not really LC. Um, my first instinct is maybe I, I should define this to be L something CD or something like that. But I need to define all my lengths from a fixed point outward, and that right there is not fixed. So I'm not going to define that as like LC. D or something like that. Uh, but what is that length of the rope? Using all, all these defined from the fixed points outward, uh, what if we said it's LC minus this LD, right? LC minus LD would give you that leftover. So, so that, that's what we're going to do. That's what you can do a lot of times. So let's call that um, LC minus L D. So just uh just kind of adding just uh simplifying this a little bit. So I've got two L C's minus L D. Let me take the derivative. The derivative of L total is zero, right? That length of the rope is not changing, so its derivative is zero. So this would be V B plus two V C minus V D. So there there's an equation that maybe I could use later on. Uh, if I've got a, a couple of those velocities I can find the third velocity. But now there's a another rope. So let's look at this uh, pink rope right here. Let's look at this pink rope and let's find the uh, total length of that pink rope. Uh, I would say that that right there would be two LDs. Right? Two LDs right there. And this right here is, is not exactly the same as LD. This this definitely is something different. LA. And so the velocity is 2VD plus VA. So there's another equation. If we had some values, maybe we were told VD, then we could use that to find VA. Maybe we knew another velocity. We could find velocities of the rest of them. You see that process? Write the length of the rope, take the derivative, set it equal to zero. What about this one? What about this one? Now that last one, all of our uh, dimensions were drawn on there, but a lot of times you have to kind of draw the those dimensions for yourself. Um, and so let's see. Here, here's the rope right here. Uh, it's really just one rope. All right. So we need to kind of define our dimensions, our lengths, from a fixed point. See how I'm going to define it from here because that's fixed. Uh, so I'm going to define this one as... L A. So that is the, the dimension from the end of the rope to here. All right. And and when, when you see this block is just fixed with this pulley, um, when I see something like that, I, I kind of like to box those in together as if this was one block, one object, right? One object right there. And that is different from this LA, and that's completely separate. I'm going to call this, I don't know, LD, the length from this fixed point to that block. I'm going to neglect all constants, but my L total would be 1LA, right? 
one LA right here, but then one, two, three, and these three are going to move up and down together. They're going to, you know, lengthen and, and, and get shorter the, together, very separate from this LA over here. Um, and so these are all three LDs, all right? And so there's our length of the rope. Take the derivative, VA plus three VD, and set that equal to zero. All right, and so what if A is going with a velocity of three meters per second? So then I would plug in three right here. So I'd get three plus three VD, and VD would equal negative one. What does that negative mean? I'll remember that everything is positive out, so that negative just means it's kind of going in. It's going up, which makes sense, right? It makes sense. And yes, this is just this is just a ratio of these ropes, but this process of writing the length of the rope, taking the derivative, works every time for more complicated um, problems. What about this one? What about this one? You see how these... A, B, and, and D, these are all fixed together. So it's, it's almost like there's just one block right here. All right. So I'm going to de define from there to there as my kind of LA, or you could call it LB or LD. But that's LA. This is LF. And so L total would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 LA plus 1 LF, take the derivative, 4 VA plus VF, right, set the derivative equal to 0 because the length of that rope is not changing, and so if this is 3, a positive 3, right, we're saying positive is out, and that's a, this is out 3, uh, so plug in positive 3 right here, 0 equals 4 VA plus 3, be careful with the math, VA equals negative, so the A equals negative three-fourth, uh, and our units were meters per second. You can leave that negative because that negative, um, to me, tell, says that it's going inward. So in this case, it's going up, uh, negative three-fourths meters per second. All right, one, one more. Let's look at this one. Okay, so I've got a few things that are... Uh, fixed together, so I'm going to combine that one right there. <clears throat> okay, and let us let me define this as LB or LD. Uh, what do we want to call that one? I'm going to define this uh, from here to here as LC. And now I'm not going to define that as LA. Why not? That violates one of those rules that I said that we've got to define everything from a fixed point outward. We've got to define everything in the direction of velocity, but I think that right there would would still work, right? That is defined from a fixed point outward. It's in the direction of the velocity. Um, all right, so so those are my you know dimension. The, the, those are my um, <clears throat> how I'm defining my uh, axes, my dimensions. All right, you see, there's two separate ropes. I think I'm going to start with this one right here. This one right here, uh, I would say that is, I've got one LB right here. This right there would be like an LB minus LC, right? LB minus LC, all right? And then this length right here, it's not just LA, it's LA minus LC. So, so there's my...